Now that you have a bound service, let's see how you can calculate the distance traveled by the user uh, using a location listener. Okay, so Android provides certain services, uh, for, for instance, the location service <coughs> using which you can track the distance the user travels, the user location to be precise. So in order to use the location listener or the location service, what you need to do is in the bound service class that we have, uh, which is like the distance travel service, in the on create method, you will add certain piece of code. Now why the on create method? Because the on create method is called when the service gets started, which is when you want to track the user location. Okay, so to calculate the location, basically to calculate the distance, first create a location listener object okay now the location listener when you when you will implement the location listener you need to override certain methods the important one being on location changed so what what you need to do here is first of all keep a variable last location using which we'll know uh, what was the last location that the user traveled and then the parameter here returns the current location so if you see here we get the distance traveled by the user in meters equal to location dot distance to last location. So this returns the distance traveled by the user in meters. Okay, straightforward, right? Nothing special. So once you have the location listener object, then how do you use this location listener object in your service? For that, you need to use a location manager. Okay, <clears throat> so you get the location manager using the get system service method uh, and you specify the location service as parameter so this so this tells android to give you a location manager using which you can start tracking user locations and if you see here the thing is that when you are using location services then you need to add a couple of permissions okay one of them being access find location and another one being access course location so these two permissions need to be there for the app to work so basically what you need to do is first of all check if this permission is there if not you just return but if the permission is there then you say location manager dot request location updates so this will start to request location updates and here what you pass is the the provider which is GPS provider the time in milliseconds which should be between two location trackings which is one millisecond here then you have one which is the distance between the last location and the current location so it should be at least one meter okay and then you specify the listener here so this is your location manager and that's it you're all set so this will start tracking the location for you and then I have added a method get distance traveled which just returns distance in meters. So this 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 method will be called from the activity class to get the distance traveled. So I hope this clarifies how location service can be used, how location listener can be used, and how location manager can be used. So you can go ahead, uh, try it out, and see the code in GitHub. I'll provide a link to the source and try it out basically. Okay, thanks.